Fly Your Fair Nation. Fly your fair Thank nation. you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is produced by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. It is June. It is two weeks into June, actually. Um, we're, what, like, <laughs> the 16th now? 17th? Well, when this comes out, it's going to be the 17th. So two whole weeks and some days into June. Yeah, happy Pride. <laughs> I know I'm horrible. I'm trash. I'm recording this on Father's Day because my daddy's in Jamaica. Otherwise... I would probably be doing something to get on his nerves. So yeah, happy Pride to everyone. Happy Father's Day. Hope everyone had a good Father's Day to those who don't particularly enjoy this day of the year. I am sorry. My condolences for those who have lost fathers, whether to fatality or for abandonment or whatever the case is. Yeah, my condolences. So yeah, Pride. Pride, Pride, Pride. June is Pride Month. For those who are not aware, it is Pride Month. Granted, I celebrate Pride all year long. I have feelings. So I've been seeing like this huge rollout as far as retail goes regarding Pride. Like ever since, not even the 1st of June, like right before, like while I was in New York before the month started i saw like (sighs) rainbow everything like in target like places and i'm just like i don't know if this is i don't know if this is a new thing or if i'm just noticing like the mass production of rainbow things i don't know if this is new maybe i'm just realizing it but it might also just be really excessive this year and i don't know if it's because it's 50 year anniversary of the stonewall riots a lot of people who don't even know what that is, they're just like, oh, yeah, gay pride. But it's just a lot. It's it's really a lot. Like, I'm seeing, like, <laughs> everything from Uber fucking ride trips. Like, And I've been posting them on my Instagram, if you follow me, Pointless Talks. I've been p- reposting them. I've been taking screenshots and things that, like, I've crossed paths with personally that have just been like, hey, rainbow in your face. <laughs> and it's um, from H&M. I know all the black people and you know y'all supposedly boycotted h&m for their monkey thing and now they're redeeming the queers the ones who actually did boycott with all this rainbow stuff because hey lgbtq all that good stuff and i'm posting it i don't have nothing against them even though i do personally feel like it's all marketing who better to cater to than the queers like they're like the biggest market right now like everybody wants to be an ally if they aren't a member of the community or if they aren't trying to be a member of the community and I I have feelings about that I feel personally that if you are not an ally and you're doing this just for money you're gonna burn in hell plain and simple And there's also a level of respect for those bigots who will not bend their beliefs for a dollar. I have a certain level of respect for that because at the end of the day, you stand for something, whether it's hatred or not, you're not going to bend to what society thinks you should do for a dollar. So you're not going to slap a whole bunch of rainbows on your garments. You're not going to slap rainbows in your shop windows. You're not going to promote LGBTQ coupon codes. You're not going to promote anything lgbtqia plus related because you know that it is a selling point because you know the gays are going to flock to it and be like oh merch like you're not doing that so there's a level of respect for that that i have and somebody's probably like what you respect people who hate us listen i respect people who are honest with who they are i can't stand people who they do something because they want people to like them or because they want money out of it because you know like it's not something that you necessarily agree with but you're going to do it because you know it's going to bring in revenue yeah it's a business business is business there's no feelings in business but mm, i have feelings about that so whatever that's just me though and then there are the companies who are allies who are branding like hell and taking this time to show their support of the lgbt plus community and you know for those people i appreciate them you know shout outs to y'all and yeah that's pretty much it happy pride as always i've been posting stuff on my feed you know bahamas not bahamas barbados pride trinidad pride coming up past etc you guys can watch it on my instagram story i post it here and there um jamaica pride is coming up in august you know it's the same spiel like last year like i did (laughs) if you listen to the episode well the episodes from last june i like 
I was a rainbow flag waving little mofo. Like I was out here with all the updates regarding everything. And I'm not opposed to doing that again this year. It's just, it's a lot. And I don't know if it's genuine. That's what my issue is. I don't know if it's genuine. And then there's the idiots who are seeing it the same way I'm seeing it and you're seeing it and everybody else is seeing it. And they have a problem with it because you're shoving gay down the kids' throats. Like, really? Because the argument that I always go back to is, all these gay people was getting straight relationships and straight couples and heterosexual actions and things shoved down their throats. And guess what? They're still bumping coochies and <laughs> humping boys that are boys like boys. Like it it doesn't make a difference whether you show children one thing or another. Like it's not going to make them gay. Like are you, y'all sound so stupid. Stop it. <laughs> like stop it. Honestly, stop it. Because that's not how that works. It's really not. But yeah, there's that. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot of is these, I don't know what exact color it is. Is it an aqua or a teal? I don't know. But everyone's changing their profile pictures to this hue of blue to bring awareness to the Sudanese massacre. I thought about changing my picture. I did. And I decided not to. I might change my mind. I'm not sure. But I decided not to because... I don't like to I don't really like to bandwagon things. I don't like to follow trends. Um I do want to bring awareness, so in that I have been posting stuff to my story also. I it's funny that I'm doing this back to back because on the subject of, you know, LGBT awareness and all of that and then going right into the Sudanese like it's it's a lot because I <laughs> I really wish that black people got the same support LGBT got. And whether it's marketing or it's support, it's it's really sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate sounding like Alicia, but dog, fucking black lives matter. Like, black lives matter. 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 Like, black lives matter. They matter. Like, they matter. Like, what the fuck? I don't understand nobody cares about this shit nobody cares like there's a few of us there's people that care but like the people that should care the people that are in a position of power to make a change to make a difference they don't care enough you know and it's like it it it, it's it's sad it's really sad because yeah it's sudan it's not america but black people are being killed in america on a daily basis Regardless of where in the world it is, like, oh my God, Black Lives fucking matter. And there is this little boy in um subject of Black Lives Matter. It it's it's not even a Black Lives Matter situation. It's it's stupidity at this point. But um, there was a little boy in Jamaica who got killed. Oh, and my texting thing is on. <laughs> um, who got killed? And the people in the neighborhood know who kills him granted it wasn't an intentional kill it's a bunch of people with stray bullets people shooting you know whatever and the people know who did it and aren't saying anything like they aren't they aren't saying anything and i always come back to if it were you if it were your family member if it was someone you cared about if it was someone you were directly linked to it would be a completely different argument because you would want someone to say something. You would want somebody to say something. Um, The whole informa for dead something, like all of that, would go right out the window and it wouldn't be no fear of no gunman. It wouldn't be none of this extra shit that y'all are... Whatever stopping you from bringing this person to justice but or maybe y'all don't believe in the police system the constabulary force maybe y'all don't believe in it maybe you feel like they might be in cahoots with the person whatever the case is whatever the reason is all of that would go out the window if this was somebody that you were directly linked to and i think that's fucked up that people know and aren't saying anything because it's a child the little boy is what 12 years old dujan da costa is his name 12 years old shutting down in spanish town like y'all is a is a pitney like it's a child and y'all don't care nothing about that just like y'all don't care about trans women dying um jumping from you know jamaica back here etc like y'all it it it, 
y'all don't have no humanity that's what it is there's a lack of humanity there's a lack of like compassion for other humans because whether it's the person committing the crime that you care more about or for whatever reason whether it's fear of them or you actually know them or whatever the case is it's that or you're not you don't care enough about the person that is getting killed you don't care enough about this child because you don't know this child personally or even you know y'all probably do because i know how jamaica is them neighborhoods everybody on the street know each other you know what i'm saying the scheme etc whatever like you at least know <laughs> somebody who's somebody you know his mother you know his grandmother and i think it said his grandmother and his mom were shot too like enough people get licking up but anyways, back to what I was saying. There's also trans people. Like, I, I'm jumping from black people to children, like adults, like trans, bisexual, lesbian, gay, like cis, het. It, it doesn't matter. Black people are dying all over the world and nothing is being done about it. Nothing is being done about it. Nothing is being done to stop it from happening. Because until we take responsibility of our own people, of ourselves, they always want to say it's black on black crime. Like, I don't want to go that route and say it's our fault but there's certain codes and laws and things like that that we uphold to the t and we just can't let go of those things because of our own ignorances and that comes back and bites us in the ass sometimes 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 and then there's a complete disregard for black life which is why people have to keep beating it in other people's heads that black lives matter black trans lives matter black lives matter black trans lives matter black queer lives matter black lives matter you gotta like drill it into people's heads and no matter how much you say it if someone isn't willing and open to listen and hear what you're saying it doesn't matter how many times you say it doesn't matter if you're protesting it doesn't matter if you're camped out or like saying it to them over and over again. It, it doesn't really matter if people aren't interested in hearing it if people aren't interested in seeing it for what it is who is it Laylene Polanco of Extrav oh, extravagance I can't even talk Laylene Polanco is an Afro-Latina woman who was found dead in her cell at Rikers Afro-Latina trans woman was found dead in her cell at Rikers. People don't just drop down dead so something happened. It's not it's it's not okay. At the end of the day, it's not one of those things that, you know, oh get the basket bite, basket bite me. Oh it's okay. These things happen. You don't just drop down dead. Like there's no she is gorgeous too. Like not like looks have anything to do with anything, but it's ridiculous how they kill us and just announce it yeah found dead what that's that's not how that happens and then there's another trans woman who was murdered in dc they're actually calling it a murder which is actually the second one in less than three months in <laughs> the same community and they're thinking that maybe it might be it might not be a coincidence like this might be something that they need to look into the um, article says a transgender woman was killed in Fairmount Heights on Thursday evening. Police said it's the second killing of a transgender woman in the suburb along the district border in less than three months. The police are saying that they're working to determine whether the two cases are linked. Zoe Spears, who's 23, of Northeast Washington, was found at 11.55 p.m. Thursday lying in the street with a gunshot wound near the 600 block of 59th Avenue. Prince George's County Police said. Spears was pronounced dead at the scene. 23 years old. That's a baby. What? Yo, it's, it's, it's rough out here for us. It really is. And if you're a woman and you don't see trans women as women, you're part of the problem. Point blank, period. Especially if you're a black woman and you don't see trans women, whether white, black, Hispanic, etc., if you don't see trans women as a woman, there you're part of the problem. Period. Like I don't, I don't care. There's no arguing. You can't argue with me about that. You're part of the problem. I don't care if you feel like, oh, I just, you know, like I'm not exciting violence. It, it doesn't matter. You're part of the problem. Period. Like you're part of the problem. I don't know how I've never seen or actually I've heard of it before, but I never looked into it. As you guys should already know by now, I am horrible at watching series, TV shows, etc. But I was flipping through Netflix the other day and I came across Pose on Netflix. And when I say this shit had me in whole ass fucking tears, <laughs> I was in tears. Like I'm watching the series and I'm just like, oh my God. Like everything, 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 everything. And 
I love, love, love how they center it around the whole, like, it comes full circle with, like, trans experience. It comes full circle, especially living in New York and surrounding areas. Like, the fact that they focus on the pier, they talk about, like, the girls on the pier and, like, oh, my God, they mentioned the stone wall. Oh, my goodness. If you don't know anything about <laughs> the trans community, especially MTF, like, watch, if go into it with an open mind. Watch it. If you haven't watched Paris is Burning, watch it. Watch Pose on Netflix. Sign up for your 30-day free trial if you don't want to pay for it, if you don't already have Netflix or find one of the bootleg websites. That's your business. But Pose, their second season is just just came out the other day, and I need to go watch that. I didn't even know that there was a second. Like, I honestly, like, I'm in a bubble. But when I say that shit, like... <sighs> Everything about it, I don't even want to give y'all no spoilers. Like, every different little scenario that they jumped in, I was like, oh, bitch, yes, because they sh- they touched on everything. Like, when I say everything, they touched on everything. They touched on the bitches who think because they're passing that, oh, child, ooh, mm, yeah, just go watch that if you haven't. Like, go watch it. If you have an open mind, watch it. If you don't have an open mind, you should watch it. Maybe you'll learn something and you can shut the fuck up and stop being ignorant. But, yes, definitely was a good watch. I think I watched all of it within two days. That's how you know I'm, like, into something. Like, I can sit down and watch it, like, back to back to back. Yeah, that shit got me. But, yeah, what else did I have on here to talk about? I didn't even pay attention to none of my notes. I talked about Stonewall. For those of you who don't know what the whole purpose of Pride is, y'all think it's just a bunch of gay people coming together and yay, rainbow flags everywhere. It is gay city. Like that's that's not what it was. It's <laughs> it was not formed as a celebration. And the fact that I have to say this because so many people don't know is sad. But that's what I'm here for. I'm I'm here to educate people on the things that they either ignorantly don't know or just genuinely don't know because of lack of knowledge, lack of experience, not being interested or not being exposed to look things up, to find things out for themselves, whatever the case is, right? Anyways, pride wasn't born of the need to celebrate being gay. Point blank period. Like, it was not... Pride was not created in celebration, okay? It started because of the fact that there were no human rights for people of LGBT plus identity. There were no rights without persecution, I should say, because, you know, legally, they're still fighting the good fight to get it all the way around to human rights as a whole. But it was worse back then. And I really hate the whole narrative of, why is there no straight pride? (laughs) Because you never, straight people never had to fight to exist without persecution. That's, That's really what it is. You never had to fight to exist without persecution. Whereas people of LGBT identity had to, are still fighting for that. It's, <laughs> I can't even say had to. There's, they're still fighting for that. Marsha P. Johnson, for those who don't know, look her up. Marsha P. Johnson was a sex worker who threw a brick at a cop and started the riot against the state. The Stonewall riot. Like, you guys, know your history. Okay, like, people of color, people of trans identity, like, no what it is you're doing when you go out and you wear something or you say something or you identify as something know your history like especially in 2019 we have electronics we have the world at your fingertips like i hate to say that but it it is at literally at your fucking fingertips anything you need to know you don't have to type (laughs) you can just pick up your phone and say it if you have the feature enabled on your device like you have everything right there and all you really need to do is look it up care enough to look into it you know like i i wish some of this stuff was available sooner for the older generation because yes some of them are stuck in their ways but some of them are open to learning and it's really sad to see that like people our age people my age and younger 
are so backwards, so negative, so closed off, so closed minded about things that, well, first of all, (laughs) if it doesn't matter to you, why do you care so much about it not existing? Just do your research, like look up what the Stonewall riots are, look up who Marsha P. Johnson is, look up things that you hear about, you Google Pride, like what started Pride, Google the riots, look up, look up all of that, like look up everything. And when you look her up, you might see that she's referred to as an American drag queen. And some people don't know the difference between a drag queen and a trans woman. Or rather, they're not interested in knowing the difference. Some people don't see a difference between a drag queen and a trans woman. And that's not even just cisgendered or heterosexual people. There are gay people. There are other people within the LGBT plus community who don't necessarily respect the difference between a drag queen and a trans woman. And it's, it's really hurtful. I can imagine, I, I, I feel for them. I really do. The, especially trans women, because having your identity, like, be disrespected in a sense of you're playing dress up is, it's kind of, it's rude. It's rude. When I saw that, I was just like, uh, I don't know if she identifies as that, she identifies as that, but it just triggered, like, people don't necessarily respect what it is that people want to be called who people identify as and it's even simple shit like i was hearing something about a stupid argument about sis not wanting to be called auntie or whatever and i'm like y'all really upset because somebody don't want to be called auntie nigga i don't even want my own nieces and nephew to call me auntie like and we're actually auntie and niece (laughs) that's just me personally because my niece my oldest niece turns 18 soon and my oldest nephew just turned 27 i don't want these big grown hot staring people calling me auntie like bitch people gonna think i'm like 50 years old no don't call me auntie don't call no just call me my first name i am fine with that and i know some people are like oh it's respect level or whatever whatever it's a term of adoration this is true and this is fine and daddy i also don't like being called ma'am do not ma'am me don't call me ma'am That is another one of the things that I don't like. Whether you're young or old, don't, please don't call me ma'am. I'd rather you call me by my name. Maybe when I get older, I'll care about things like that. But, and it's not that I have a fear of getting old or feeling old. Like, granted, I lie about my age all the time. I know how old I am and I own it. I don't care. It's a construct. Like, I don't necessarily care. You're old. You're as old as you feel you are. And like I keep saying, as long as I keep getting ID'd for matches and fucking shit that you have to be 18 for, y'all don't need to know how old I really am. Respect people's boundaries. Respect things. If somebody's not ask you to call them, like, oh, great one, supreme dick sucker or some shit. Like, respect the boundary. Like, respect the fact that people want to be addressed how they feel that they should be. How they, are, how they identify, you know? I identify as me, nigga. Like, don't call me auntie. Don't call me ma'am. I don't know. I don't understand why that's so hard. You know, I don't. I really don't. And I say this, but I'm also one of those asshole people who, like, I don't like calling people by their nicknames. Like, I like calling people by their actual names. However, if you have changed your name or you plan on changing your name, I have no problem calling you by that name. I won't be disrespectful and call you freaking basket when your name is couch or when you change your name to couch from sofa you know like if any of that makes sense but like nicknames like oh i'm about to call you little johnny like no i'm not (laughs) not calling you little johnny like what is this i really hate people happy pride all that good shit happy fucking pride like go out and spread love go be positive go make someone happy help someone through a rough time help somebody be creative ask somebody what it would take for them to pursue their craft their passion like give give to someone you get me like just just give to somebody i oh i didn't i miss winwood um winwood pride and i also missed wilton manners pride i am slacking on these florida prides i keep saying i'm gonna go but I'm really just like mm, about Florida Pride. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. And it's right there. It's right down the street. I could have been there in 10 minutes and back. 
I went to Caribbean Pride. I'm proud of that, at least. But, you know, that's what the show stands for. Yeah, I went to... I, I missed that. And, yeah, whatever. I don't know if I talked about this last episode. Probably got to check again. I'll probably cut it out. The way how this government is fucked, I was looking over my financials and... Oh, and y'all need to do this, too, because... Yeah, we'll sit here and we'll talk about freedom and expression and equality and all of this and how this country is going to hell in a handbasket. But while you're here, there are certain things you need to be aware of and you need to pay attention to, which is, you know, of course, mental health first and foremost, making sure that you're okay um, so that everything else that follows what I'm about to say doesn't fuck up your mental health even more like your financials some people will like y'all spend wild and crazy and that's your business if y'all have some kind of get out of jail free card where it comes to finances that's all you i've never been here to judge anybody on how they spend their money because i'm not the one going to work to make their money for them but i was going through like my paperwork and everything and i was just like i really hate and and it's one of those things where you know how they say People don't care about things on the, until it affects them. I am that way when it comes to certain things. Certain things. Certain things. Now, the government shut down and everything. This idiot trying to build a wall or building a wall or whatever. And how it's taking money out of everybody's taxes, etc., etc. Seeing that shit firsthand was such a big slap in the face. Because, yeah, you hear about it and you know what's going on in the world. But until it directly, like, gut punches you... It don't make you wake up and be like, wait a minute, this is not fucking (laughs) like it's not okay already. Like you're building a fucking wall for all the wrong reasons. But until that happens, it's like, yo, because I really honestly and truly made the most money ever last year out of all my years of working. And that is the smallest, most minuscule, pequeñito fucking tax refund I've ever seen in my life. And granted, I don't plan for it. I say it all the time. I really don't plan for it. I be having hopes. Like, okay, you know, I'm probably going to put that shit to the side. But my goodness gracious, what a clot. (laughs) But I, hey, it's just one of those things you just roll with the punches. I make sure I'm buying a Dutch Olympics tickets. Party coming, well, not this weekend coming, but the next weekend, the 29th, June 29th, that's Olympics, luxurious banquet hall in Fort Lauderdale, come dash out, Ed Top Queens, splitting the Miggle Queens, you know, bubbling goddesses, <laughs> all of that, come dash out, that's Olympics, um, tickets are on Eventbrite, that's Olympics, Dutty, everything is spelled properly. Dutty is spelled how Dutty is supposed to spell, D U T T U I, Olympics, L Y M P I C S. Buy on a ticket, ladies. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but some free ticket that if you're RSVP before twelve thirty, free ticket the boat. Um, what else I keep? Your fan fest July twentieth. Um, if you don't want to come out, if you don't in the dash out and bashment and braffery and all of that, I'll let them someday you can come out. Um, your fan fest. Your fan fest is also at luxurious banquet hall. Um, I am claiming that as my birthday party. So if y'all want to come party with me, <laughs> I'm honestly probably going to be working, but come dash out, come fashion show, mingle, mix, network, vendor tables, buy something, get drunk, eat, <laughs> you know, chef Nye is going to be cooking down the place and it should be a great fucking time. Chef Nye will be in attendance for the Olympics as well. Um, yes, you know, breath mints, up move, all of them something there. And it should be a great fucking time. So come one, come all. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for my flyer break. If you or anybody you know writes poetry, short stories or anything of the sort, um, and you're willing to share, you want to have it read on the podcast, you can send it to me in an email. You can send me the audio if you want to read it yourself because you know how your stanzas are set up and how your pauses and breaks and all of that. And I might just be special and read it as one run-on sentence like I do from time to time. But <laughs> you can either send me the poem and I'll read it on there on the show or you can send me the audio to askpointless at gmail.com. That is A-S-K-P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S at gmail.com i hope i don't have to spell gmail for no 
don't forget to listen, like, share, and subscribe to the Pointless Talks podcast on all the social media outlets. We are on a lot of things. Tune in radio, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Google um, Play Music, but up on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. Everything is Pointless Talks. That's P-O-I-N-T. L E S S S T A L K S. Put a space between pointless and talks if you're on anything that is not, you know, social media, um, networking. So like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube is going to be without the space. No, it's with the space. Everything else is without the space. So streaming outlets, you put the space in there. All right. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars, keeping the bad mind feelings them to in a self. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. <laughs>